we got television. We couldn't get RTE. Donegal was too far away. So we could only get we could only get from Scotland. And I grew up in a big three-story house and it was quite precarious to go up there and move it. And the wind up there kept moving the area. So every now and again I was sent up. It was my job to go up and move the bloody area. I felt I felt really, really frightened all the time. Anyway, this is called the periscope. I love submarines. You know something? If I won the lottery, I'd buy a submarine and preferably an old U-boat. And, and, and that, that would keep me happy. <laughs> the periscope. Is there something wonderfully seductive about the little thing sticking up out of the water and looking at you? It's like a little snake or something. Up on the roof, he saw the periscope poking out of the sea. He shouted he wanted binoculars, but they laughed. His brother reminded him he was up there to get the picture back on the TV. His father said the U-boats were over, but the curled top of the periscope kept his attention, so much so that he left the aerial and climbed down the ladder and legged it to the beach. The dog Shay running barking beside him. Roars and objections came on the wind behind him. A cow came to the barbed wire to give a nosy moo as he loped by whistling. A crow flew low over his head cawing. There was no one on the beach except a long-haired meditator humming and bowing in rhythm. So he marched on to his favorite rock, which he climbed and sat on, staring out to sea. Shay lay whimpering. The periscope was big now. Soon the submarine would surface and he would rush down to embrace the sailors, offering himself as their long lost soulmate. 